Okay, we're going to do a little editing of the video because I wanted you to have a chance to see a close-up of this fine plaiting work that Johnny's done. Okay, so here's the pommel. He's got a clean pommel. There's no whip maker's mark at the end of the pommel. Some people do, some don't. Mike Murphy didn't do that, so that's not uncommon. But very, very nice handle plaiting. I call this section like just a simple herringbone or whipmaker's plat. And then he's doing some, some chevron work there, some what I would call bird's eye. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's his own signature, but it's very nice work. Very nice pineapple knot. And then if you look at the whipmaker's plat, which is actually my preference for the thong, uh, this plaiting needs to be straight as an arrow, and it is. If we put a straight edge on that plaiting all the way down, that is going to be straight as an arrow. Now, if you look up here, the 16 plat is a little bit thicker, but if you pay attention, Johnny has tapered his stranding as he's gone down the four-foot whip. So you're going to see, not only is it a concentric, con uh, concentric taper or continuous taper, but as we come down the whip, that stranding's getting narrower and narrower, a little slimmer and slimmer. That's a very difficult technique to do when you're when you're cutting stranding, but what it results in is it results in you having to drop fewer st fewer strands as you're making a whip that's this short. Making a shorter bull whip is more difficult than making a longer bull whip, in my opinion, because, uh, because of that. You have to achieve that continuous taper much quicker. Then you can see the fall hitch is very nicely done. His fall is very trim, very streamlined. And it's about an 18 inch fall, which as I said earlier, is what I would consider uh, uh, similar to the way Mike Murphy would have cut and balanced uh, a fall for one of his whips. Okay, so very nice example of a 16 plat two belly whip coming out of Sweden, and I'm excited about breaking it in. As always, thank you for watching our video.